Once you've logged in successfully, you're going to go to admin. In admin, you're going to click applications. You're going to, you're going to click add applications. I'm going to do an example of one application that I have not added, which is going to be Grasshopper. Anytime you do an add application, the first thing you want to do is see if the application is already integrated with Okta. So you're going to click Grasshopper. And as you can see here, Grasshopper is already integrated with Okta. So you would go to next. And then you would put either user sets, username and password, if it's a website that multiple users have passwords. But in the case of Grasshopper, there's only one username and password. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to verify the username and password on Grasshopper by you're going to log into the, the account that you're currently working on. And then you're going to log out of the account. And then you're going to right click inspect. You're going to go and you're going to look for test. I mean, excuse me, password. Right here where it says type password, I'm going to click test, and it's going to show me the password. So I'm going to copy the password. I'm going to add the password. So here I am setting up a shared username and password. That means that there's only one username, one password. What would be an example of something that isn't like this? It would be QuickBooks. QuickBooks, everybody has their own username and password. Grasshopper, everybody shares a uh, Grasshopper password. So now you're going to click on done. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to assign it to a group. In this case, every department has their own group. When it's not a department that has their own group, you either have to assign it to everyone or you assign it to a specific department. In this case, um, Grasshopper is best defined as uh, marketing because it's subject to marketing conditions. So I'm going to add it to marketing and everybody that's in the marketing team will now have access. If you have a question about an app, where it should go, send me an email and I will provide you a uh, place to put that, what department to put it in. So now if you go to general, sign on, you can see that it's one single username and password. Um, and that's pretty much it. You've assigned it to a group. Now, what happens, what happens if the website that you're trying to add isn't in Okta? And we're going to do an example of that right now. So we're going to go back. Now we have, if you, if you search, Grasshopper, it's here. If you go to my end dashboard, Grasshopper is now here. And we're going to move it to a, a marketing. That's how I have my tabs. So now 
now um, the marketing department, the marketing department has the uh, the marketing department has the uh, Grasshopper app in there, and they would be able to log in. So what happens with an app that is not in Okta? And I'm going to give you an example of that one right now. So here is one that I don't think is in Okta. So we're going to go back to Okta. We're going to go to add applications and we're going to type in tube. Excuse me, I'm sorry, made a mistake here. You're going to go to add applications. You're going to type in tube buddy. So that obviously is not in Okta. So I'm going to sign in here to TubeBuddy. And we use the Freight Hub Corp Gmail. And you can see I have now access to TubeBuddy. So what I'm going to do with this here is I'm going to add the application manually, which is create new app. You're always going to pick the secure web authentication, which is called SWA. I'm going to call this two, buddy. I'm going to copy the website. I'm also going to snip because we want everything with a logo so it's easier to see. So you're going to use the snip function and you are going to save the logo. To buddy. You're going to save the logo. You're going to upload the logo. And now you can see TubeBuddy has been uploaded and then you're going to finish. Now you have to make a decision if this is going to be a single username and password or if it's going to be everybody has their own username and password. In this case, we're going to edit this. Everybody's going to share a username and password. And then we need to know what the username and password is, which ends up being the Google sign up. So if you go here, you can see it's the Google sign on. So it would be. At gmail.com. And then the password for which is uh, a password that we have. And then I save it. Okay. Then I go here to assignments and I assign it to the group. And in this case, I'm going to assign it again to marketing because I'm handling some marketing. And then if I go to my dashboard, I will see that marketing template right here. And then I'll move it to marketing where it belongs. And everybody that is in marketing, and this is everybody that has access to marketing. So if you, if you click on it, you can see exactly who has access to marketing right now. Thank <laughs> you.